Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to talk about office notes. Office notes are also known as office memos or internal memos. They are written documents which are sent inside the organization for the purpose of communication. They usually convey important decisions, instructions, updates, rules, or information. Let's talk about the types of office notes. There are two types of office notes. The first one is formal and the other one is informal. Formal office notes require a structured format and it follows a professional tone. On the other hand, the informal office notes are less structured and they are more easy and relaxed in tone. Formal office notes, uh, when we have to send it out, requires a, an approval before sending out and they are written for more serious matters. On the other hand, the informal office notes are among the colleagues and they are more relaxed and easy in tone. These are the few examples of the official or formal office notes. For example, uh, we can write policy memos, minutes of meetings or performance evaluation or important announcements. These comes under the category of formal office notes. And these are the examples of informal office notes, for example, writing an email, congratulatory note or a thank you note or uh, asking for updates from colleagues. These comes under the category of informal office notes. So we can see that official notes, uh, either formal or informal, they are different uh, in terms of few categories, which is tone, structure, its purpose and the recipient. Let's talk about the tone. Formal office notes always maintains a serious and professional tone. They use language in a very professional and formal way and should avoid colloquial and slang language and maintain a respectful tone. On the other hand, when we are writing informal office note, the tone is more relaxed and easy and friendly. Uh, when we are writing informal notes, we can use casual language and expression which are suitable in the work environment because it is more conversational and approachable in manner. When it's come to the structure, the formal office note follows a very closely knitted structure. It begins with a proper formal salutation. It must have a beginning, middle, body and a formal closing and the language should be very precise and to the point. On the other hand, the structure of informal office note is not strictly knitted together. It means that uh, we sometimes we do not require to begin, give it a proper beginning or a closing. And the language of an informal uh, office note is more relaxed and easy to understand. When it's come to the purpose, formal and informal office notes are different. The purpose of formal office note is to communicate with inside the organization or with the external stakeholders. They convey important decisions, policy announcements or instructions which requires a high level of professionalism. On the other hand, the purpose of informal office note is to communicate with the colleagues and it is more like a day-to-day -day or a one-to-one -one conversation or a communication uh, and it is done with the people we are more uh, relaxed and more easy to talk to and the purpose of informal office note can be to ask for certain updates or to ask for a feedback or to uh, Im inform certain information to our peers. The last one is the recipient or the audience. The audience of formal and informal office notes are different. Formal office notes are usually sent from the higher authorities or if it has to send to the Higher, higher personnel, it requires a higher level of professionalism and formal tone. The recipients and the audience for informal office notes are the colleagues, uh, which we can talk to easily, and they are used to uh, convey instructions and they are easy to uh, handle in a situation uh, which does not require a more formal and more structured format. There are few guidelines for writing office notes. The first one is to use clear and concise language. Whether you're writing a formal or informal office note, you need to follow 
a very clear and to the point language. The second one is to use a structured format, which is required in formal office notes. You also need to follow a professional tone because when you are writing a formal note, you need to take care of your professional language and its tone. The next one is proper salutation, beginning, introduction, body and closing. All these parameters are very important when you are writing a formal office note. Other than these, you need to be careful about few more things. The one is you need to be more objective, whether you are writing a formal or informal office note. The next thing is that you need to take care of your proofreading because either it's a formal or informal office note, proofreading helps you to eliminate anything which is unnecessary or which is not adding to the point. You can also eliminate any language errors. It helps you to refine your message. Apart from proofreading, what you need to be careful about is that you need to follow up your uh, message and you also need to take care about the element of confidentiality.